Having a great YouTube background can make your video seem a little bit more professional. So in today's episode, what I want to do is showcase how I use both Midjourney and ChatGPT to make my background grow from this to this. Let's take a closer look in today's episode. All right, so like I mentioned today, I want to do five examples on how to get some great, amazing backgrounds so you can use for your YouTube channel, right? I do believe there's a lot of software solutions right now where you don't even need a green screen to kind of eliminate the background and change it to something different. And I do believe with the power of generative AI, we could get some great solutions to make that background look very appealing and amazing to just make your YouTube videos pop out a little bit more. So let me just break down the episode. I do have a nice PowerPoint presentation. And like I mentioned, first, we're going to take a closer look at the main prompt. And then we're going to look at a few examples. We're going to look at a gaming channel, at a music channel, at a history channel. I think the background I have right now is the one for the Duck channel. It's I think it's pretty amazing. So I'm going to keep it um, for this channel. I have a few other channels, but for this channel, I think I'm going to keep the Duck background and then for a vegetable channel. So like I mentioned, the two tools that I use are going to be Mid Journey. I'm pretty sure you can can use any other text AI to text to AI image generator um, and obviously chat GPT but I'm pretty sure you can use any other generator uh, text generator as well uh, so first let's just start off and I'm gonna give the prompt that I use this is the main prompt and I believe you can use it for any type of channel that you want so I, I, I like to get options so the main prompt that I'm gonna use is create a few text prompts to use for a text to image AI generator to make a photo realistic background that looks like a large wall for a YouTube streaming room to use for a X channel in X type of lighting. Don't overcrowd it. Use eye pleasing colors with less than 150 words. Uh, so, I, I mean, you can go a little bit more descriptive if you want from here. So here are the steps. We're going to just update the prompt, use GPT-4, GPT or whatever you use, get a top prompt, then use mid journey's shortened function. And I'm going to show everything in, in a bit, get the image. And I do believe the final great step is to blur the image. So let's just start off with the gaming channel. Let's see. Um, let's just kind of here. So I have create a few texts. I upgrade it. I changed it to a retro gaming and a dark lighting. So now let's just go to GPT-3 real quick and tell it to create a few text prompts. Um, and it's going to give me some, I, I believe it's going to give me about four. So here we're going to see the first prompt is a large wall in the YouTube streaming room bathed in soft dark lighting, retro gaming elements tastefully adorned the wall with the secret select few iconic game posters. Uh, so we can see a, a huge selection. I'm going to pick number three. I, I, I didn't read it, but I just want to pick number three. So we're going to copy and paste this. And I, I, the reason I did this is because I do believe chat GPT and any of these text AI generators can do a lot better at creating a better prompt for me. But I think each platform out there has their own unique way of of having better prompts so for mid journey mid journey has a, a function called shorten and shorten it analyzes a prompt so i'm gonna give it this prompt and it's gonna shorten it to make it a little bit more um it, it's gonna take out the, the fluff words there's some words here that are fluffy that don't really help with the generation of a product so i'm gonna shorten it up and now it, it kind of eliminates the words that might have not really done anything for the selection of this image. Uh, so here we can see, uh, I'm, I'm gonna select option number one, a substantial wall in a dimly lit YouTube room dedicated to retro gaming, 8-bit mural posters, wall, dark, strategical, LED lighting. So we're going to do number one. And here, let's just kind of add the aspect ratio of 16 by nine. This is your typical background. And I don't know if it does it automatically, but I want to use version 5.2, which is the most recent. So we're going to submit this and we're going to wait a bit to get some functions. And I sometimes like to run the prompt at least twice. Maybe sometimes uh, the second the second generation usually gives me better images. I like to get options, right? And, and so we're going to run this prompt twice and see which one I like best. All right. So now we have eight options and I think they all look super nice. I really like this one, number four. Um, so we're going to upscale number four. I really do like the lighting here. Uh, so let's go with number four of the second of the second run. And that's why I usually enjoy doing uh, two runs so I can get a little bit more options. If not, number 
three also looked really nice. Um, so let's just try, uh, let's just go with number four. So next I end up going to Canva. This is where I kind of do very quick um, image editing, something that can be done and you don't even need to be a professional. Uh, so here I'm just gonna edit the photo real quick and I'm just gonna give it a bit of a blur um, to make it seem like it, you, you are, I'm using a camera to give this blur to my background. So something small, maybe around 10. Uh, so let's just, I, I, I like the way this looks. I like the lighting. I like the background. It's gonna definitely help me showcase my video game channel a little bit more. So let's just download and change it and see how the new background looks. So this is how my background normally looks like, right? It's right now, I, I just got a newborn, so my room tends to be a little bit more messy than normal. Uh, and obviously, if I'm traveling a lot, I want my videos to be consistent, right? I want to have a similar style background. And thanks to a lot of these effects with a lot of camera solutions right now, it's very easily to change that background. So let's kind of add that new one that we just got. I do believe it's going to be on downloads um, here we're gonna have so look I mean I think this looks pretty great compared to just a background like this obviously maybe we could have gone with a little brighter lighting um, but for any type of channel you can go out here and change your selection uh, like I mentioned let's take a closer look at all the ones that I downloaded for today's episode maybe for a AI for an AI channel you want to go a little bit more futuristic something like this will look super nice maybe like I mentioned for the duck I really do enjoy Enjoy this duck background I think the main thing is it really does have that nice lighting maybe I should go with the more mouth lighting in, in future tense um, we can see the gaming that we just did this was another gaming one that I did again it looks pretty nice it looks way better than just that messy background that I had if I had a history channel right this again will look great uh, so all types of channel ideas you can kind of increase your productivity and your production levels by just including a background. If I had a music channel, I mean, look, I have some nice guitars in the back. I have some nice blur photos to really kind of showcase um, my musical side of things. Um, even if I was kind of doing maybe a, ve a veggie channel, having like a nice veggie background can really help out in kind of bringing out the production. So like I mentioned, for now on, I really do like the duck background. Uh, so I'm going to do the duck blur. So for those that want the prompt, I'm going to put it down in the description uh, real quick if you want to if you want to learn more about it if you want to just copy and paste and then here are the steps just update the prompt use a chat a chat gpt4 that's what i use uh, choose your top prompt that you get from there use mid journey shortened function to make the prompt a little bit better uh, opposed to what that chat gpt gave you get the image and i do believe giving it a little bit of blur um kind of changes things out uh, like i did for a retro gaming there these were a few solutions i think all of them came out super nice then i did a music channel channel these are the different prompts that end up coming out um, these are the different solutions for a history channel these are the different um, options for the duck channel like I mentioned I really do enjoy the duck background that they have uh, and for a veggie channel we see all these different solutions as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial let me know if you guys are using this to make your backgrounds a little bit better and it, it's almost completely free right so much easier and like this no matter where you go if you're going to a hotel if you travel a lot if you're changing rooms you're always going to have that consistency background and adds a little bit more professionalism to your video uh, production, right? So to here, have a good day. If you guys enjoy, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up and take care.